Hello guys, my name is Alejandra. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Make sure that you subscribe down below or in this little square box. I think it's on this side or on this side. I'm not sure, but make sure that you subscribe in order to keep up to date with me and that anytime that I post a video, it'll go right to your subscription box and that way will be connected in a way you know okay guys so this video is going to be a nighttime routine and i'm going to be telling you the complete honest truth on what i do every single night and my routine and how it goes so every single night i try to make it a priority to drink some tea it helps me like wind down it helps me cool down and also green tea is really really good for you and for your metabolism and just everything in general so i always like to make sure that i have a cup of green tea so that's currently what I'm drinking right now. I spend 90% of my time sitting right there where that blanket is at with my homework, with my laptop, everything. So whenever I'm getting ready to go to sleep, I make my tea and before I head off to my bedroom, I make sure that I clean that portion of my couch, that I gather up my backpack and that I gather up all my belongings. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Guys, I am absolutely crazy. Look at that. There's my laptop, my phone, my planner, and my binder slash folder thingy. And if you can see, it's all the same color, including my backpack. Anyways, so then after that, I just get my all my other stuff. I was snacking on some cashews. <laughs> and then I have all my papers. So I just like to gather all of this stuff up and fix my couch. And then I grab my blanket and I'm gonna fold this. So as you can tell, the couch is nice and set. So then I come over here, I turn off my lamp, and then I have this candle going and my tea's right here. So I'm gonna blow out my candle. I'm gonna grab my tea. I'm about to take a shower, do my skincare routine, and honestly get clean for the night okay so as you can tell i'm in my restroom guys and before i get into the shower i like to take all my makeup off so i'm going to be using these cotton rounds and this oil free eye makeup remover to take off my makeup i just grab that and i put it on eye take off these eyebrows okay so then I know that it says that it's for eye makeup, but I also like to bring it down here and get the makeup off my nose, off my cheeks, and just in general take the makeup off. And with this Neutrogena makeup remover, I've never had any issues with it. It's never broke me out. I've never had any complaints about it so I would highly recommend this guys. It's amazing. And then after I do that, I like to wash my face and you guys already know oh gee I don't use anything else I don't think I'll ever use anything else I haven't specifically been looking for anything else because this works amazing for me you guys know it cleared my skin it's helped me a lot so this is what I use and I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this and washing my face and then I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. My face is all clean and set. So now that my makeup has been removed, I have washed my face. I'm going to go ahead and hop into the shower. And then after my shower, I'll show you guys what I use for like moisture and just overall the good stuff. So after I get out of the shower, this is exactly what I look like and I'm just going to take my hair to the side and be spraying some Miracle 7 leave-in mist looks like this so I'm just going to be spraying this in my hair and then I'm just going to be brushing my hair out my mom always told me that you always brush your hair out from the bottom first and then you go towards the top because this prevents damage
and I just part my hair in the middle and that is all for my hair and then for my face um, during the nighttime especially right now that it's getting really really cold here I like to use a heavy moisturizer for my face because in the morning I want it to be nice and moisturized so I do use this Pond's moisturizer and then I just it smells really good honestly and then I just put this all over my face like this I want my face to be nice and moisturized and I'll be honest this moisturizer is a little bit thick and it does leave your face really really moisturized so if you don't like your face to feel like heavy with like a lot of moisturizer on it then I would not recommend this but if you Feel like you have dry skin and you need a good moisturizer that's heavy that will moisturize your face i would definitely definitely recommend this recently i got this royal jelly and it's to help wrinkles underneath your eyes and to just keep your eyes moisturized so it's just a little bottle like this and then i just use a q-tip and then i put this underneath my eyes It's very important that you braid your hair before going to bed because it just keeps your hair tamed. It keeps your hair from bending and breaking all through the night. So I'm just going to grab my hair and braid it. So then I just tie it off with a little scrunchie and that is it for everything that I do after the shower. Okay, so actually I forgot to tell you guys, but the last thing that I do before I head off to bed is brush my teeth. Okay, hello guys. So I'm back. I just finished doing all of my skincare, all of my hair care, and all of that. And now I'm back and I'm in my room. I have my tea here with me. And if you can tell, I'm really, really relaxed right now because whenever I am going to bed, I like to like kind of just chill and calm down and just wind down in order to be able to get ready to sleep. I'm just wearing this oversized t-shirt as a pajama and this is my pops. Honestly, I don't know where he got it, but I stole it from him because it's really, really comfy. Last and final thing that I do before going to bed is I pray every single night and growing up, I remember that my sister would always before she would turn off the lights she would always pray and I would just always kind of since her room was right next to mine I would kind of just always pray to you know before going to bed and that's just something that I've always done there's never a day that I go without praying so I have this journal and as you can see it's a little scuffed up but it's just this pink journal that I like to write in not really like as a diary but more of like me kind of just going through my thoughts, going through what I want to do, just writing down expectations that I have for myself and just talking to God sometimes in this journal. And I just have like a lot of things in this journal that sometimes whenever I don't know how to just say them, I guess, I just get to writing and it helps me a lot. It's a really good de-stressor. It's really good for whenever you feel anxious or you just feel any type of way, I guess. Yeah, just want that. I'm moving at God's speed Only God and my mama know what I need And I've never loved a soul Quite the way I love you But anyways guys, that is it for my nighttime routine That's all that I do Sometimes I do spend a little bit of time watching YouTube videos or Netflix but for the most part, this is just what I like doing at nighttime. I hope that you liked this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me. It would mean the absolute world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I just wanted you guys to see me real and raw. Yeah, good night guys. Bye!